Um, all right, anyway, can you guys see the, the screen? Give me a thumbs up if you see the screen. Yeah, that's my RAV4. Okay, yeah. okay, you got it. Anyway, morning, guys. Uh, welcome. There's the two of us. Um, I don't even contact the other guys. Uh, you want to just turn your volume down a little bit, Logan? That's okay. And if you got to go to the dentist, that's okay, too. All right, buddy? Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to go back to my house soon and get on my laptop. Can I say that again? Okay. You got to go right now, then? Uh, no, not right now. Okay. okay. Um, I'm going to be by the house at 11 o'clock today, okay? Okay. So I got, I, I forgot to bring it in the office here, but I got a ton of GoPro stuff I'll have you look at, okay? Okay. Yeah, so David, he's uh, getting ready to launch tomorrow. Are you excited, Logan? Yeah. Are you all packed? Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I gotta go. See you okay. later. All right, we'll talk to you later. Signing off. David, just you and I, which is okay, bud. Bye. Bye-bye, take care, Logan, see you in a little bit. Bye. Dave. All right, is he gone? He's out. Um, Kelsey. Kelsey, welcome to the show, girl. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good, good morning again. Uh, we got David. Logan just had to check out. Kelsey, good to have you with us. You just want to do audio today? I mean, it, uh, it doesn't That's matter. okay. That's all right, man. We're just um, glad you joined us. Welcome. David, this is Kelsey. Uh, Kelsey's going to be joining us. Uh, she lives in, the, uh, in Baldwin, so uh, she's experiencing her first uh, virtual school or first virtual piece, so... Thanks, Kelsey. You got a couple things I want to share with you. All right. Good show. Hey, David and um, Kelsey, but I also keep in mind, folks, uh, this is totally also recorded for people who can't make it, too. So we're going to launch this as if we have a full house. And I want you all to take a look at this video. Kelsey, can you see my screen? I can. Awesome. I want you to tell me what you think of this video clip. We're going to start out with this today. Your thoughts? <laughs> Isn't that wild? Yeah, Kelsey, wild. David, what do you think? Um, what stood out to you, Kelsey? You go first. 
Wait, what do I think about it? Yeah, what do you think about in your future, in your workplace? I mean, you, right now, Baldwin, Michigan. David, you sitting there in Ludington, Scottville. What, what does it mean for your future? Just curious. Well, if we have all these type of things, we won't have jobs because everything will already be done by all the robots and stuff. So, you know, that's a very good point, Kelsey. It's a natural reflection. Like, wow, everything's automated, right? Everything's going to take away jobs. That's, that's, that's very, uh, very insightful. David, what do you think of that? What does this tell you about your future? This robots will be taking over like most jobs of people. We're going to see a lot more robots around it. Yeah, it does seem like, does that, is that become a threat to us, Kelsey, David, and for the rest of us are watching in? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you know, at the same time, um, I had, I went to a skin cancer doctor, and they literally used, not a robot, but I was detected by artificial intelligence when they did a scan on my arm uh, for skin cancer. And she brought it us down to Skegan. So, I mean, she's looking for it. I'm okay, but... Um, and I asked her what it was. She goes, oh, this is a robotic device that can identify skin cancer. And lo and behold, what do we see in this video? Artificial intelligence identifying skin cancer. So we can all see the benefit of this too. So what does it mean for our jobs when Kelsey is, uh, you know, in high school, midway through, how does she prepare for this type of uh, future? It's, it's quite remarkable, isn't it? Hey, Logan's, uh, Logan's joined us back in. Good to have you back with us, Logan. Yeah, sorry, I had to leave so early. That's okay, buddy. Good to have you back. We just saw a pretty compelling video piece on what our future may look like. Quite remarkable. Um, did anybody see where Amazon stores? Anybody order anything from Amazon? I do. Who said I did? Is that you, Logan? Kelsey. Yeah, I Kelsey do. does? Okay. Kelsey, have you ever been to an Amazon store where you don't even have to stop at a cashier? You just, boom, automatically syncs your phone? Uh, no. No, they do have them in Michigan, too. I know there's some test pilots in uh, Ann Arbor. Uh, these are futures that are going to hit us and how we prepared for that. So today's not really about, hey, let's dig into technology, but how does it look in our learning? You know, Kelsey, uh, you know, you, you, you're, you're, I, lo I love it. I love what you're doing now. You're looking at, uh, geez, can I do some virtual learning while I'm getting ready to come back in school later on? It's awesome so you can work. David's got a great experience. He wants to integrate some project-based learning into some of his experiences. And Logan, my goodness, where are you going? To Cairo. Cairo, okay, he's leaving tomorrow on a jet plane. And, and so what does it mean for our future, some of the things? I mean, auto cars. I, I have not seen an auto car along the road yet, but that scares me. I don't know if I'm quite ready for that. I have. Have you? Have you? Have you? You've seen yeah. one? Yeah. I mean, that's going to impact, you're right. Kelsey and David made some great points about our jobs. So let's look at ourselves and how are we training and getting ourselves ready for it. That's kind of one of the major factors. Um, I think that this video kind of reflects on. And finally, 3D construction. We're literally building homes at that way. Kind of blows you away. Hey, um, let's put this back up here. Um, geez, Logan. We're, we're, we don't want to look at Logan. Logan, let's go. Uh, I got Logan on the screen here, don't I, Logan? Yeah. Okay, hold on a second. I got to get us back into, here we go. Thumbnail here. All right. Hey, today's game plan. Um, I want to just go over a couple pieces uh, just a few announcements. Uh, we've got about six minutes. Uh, Kelsey's joining us first time. Appreciate that. But also keep in mind, I just our YouTube channel is up and running. So if you want to see our first two episodes out there, go check them out. Um, Flipgrid, um, I know you've been having a lot of fun with that, um, uh, Logan. But Kelsey, one of the ways we're going to be using Flipgrid, I want to show everybody this right now in our screen share. And uh, I, I'd like all of you, if you would, have every time you come to a uh, – a session here please open if you haven't done it do it right now please if you would go to your just always have this available even those who are listening virtually not live recorded webinar always have your virtual learning cafe open to the discussions go to module and please click on if you two or you three guys and gales would do that now i appreciate it so i want you to actually do this um have a little fun with it it's my tech tip of the day um and how we're going to be using when we talk about concepts learning and Kelsey, I talked to you yesterday, even when I needed just to meet with you via um, Zoom or one-on-one, -on -one, okay? These are ways that I'm going to be able to help you and talk to you. It's called uh, – give me a thumbs up if you're there. I'm here. You there, David? Okay, Kelsey, you can give me a verbal one. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Could you, I mean, are you? did you click on Flipgrid? 
Yeah, I did. Cool. Uh, if everybody flipped on it or, or clicked wow. on it, do you have the same screen I have up here? Hey, there's there's mom. How you doing, Annette? I'm in panic mode today. All right. Go ahead. Hey, weigh in. Sit down. Move over there, Junior. Let mom sit next to you. <laughs> no, I'm hey. really busy trying to get stuff ready. But hi. I think you got to get ready. But you got to tell, we got David and Kelsey online here, too. And we're also recording for those who can't make it today. So give us a 60-second sound bite. What are you preparing for? And tell, tell us how reality is hitting you hard. Well, I woke up at 1 o'clock this morning in a panic mode thinking I'm not ready to go. <laughs> oh, I bet you are. For those who don't know or listening out here, not live, David and Kelsey, uh, Logan, that's his mom. And they're ready to launch to, where are you going? We're tomorrow, at, we leave at 8.20 in the evening out of Chicago. And cool. then we go from Chicago to Amam, Jordan, with a layover of three hours there. And then to Cairo, Egypt, where my daughter and my son-in-law will pick us up at 8.20 Friday night. Wow. And so a total hour time, how much is that in flight? Um, we're, the flight from Chicago to Amam is 11 hours. And um, from Amam to Cairo is an hour and a half. So you'll, you'll be a little jet lagging for a day or so, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, we're excited. I'm going to stop. By. I told Logan I'm going to stop by about 11-ish if you're around. I got some GoPro stuff. We'll chat. And I do want, and I really would like, uh, if you don't mind doing a little video on my phone, just about how you feel, and we can share that out later, okay? Okay, sounds good, Phil. Awesome. Good seeing you. Good luck. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Hey, everybody, what I'd like you to try, and you don't have to do this right now, but I have, it's called a Zoom meeting orientation. I just want you to be able to click on this link, and you can see it's got me recorded, and I'm not going to record right now. And I didn't get a chance, Kelsey, to go through this with you in detail, but all you do is you click the record, we're going to use it for, hey, hello, sports fans. Uh, welcome to Flipgrid, or welcome to our Zoom orientation. Uh, we're going to use this platform to give some feedback on some, some questions uh, that we have in our virtual learning. And I'm going to shut it off now so all of you can see. Where is it? Right there. I'm going to click on the button. Boom, it records. Kelsey, can you see this? I can. Cool. And then how we're going to use it in our virtual space. You click on hey, that. hello, sports fans. Uh, welcome to Flipgrid. Or welcome to our Zoom orientation. Uh, we're going and there's a lot of other things we're gonna do with this, but for today, I just want to show you. Hit next, and we, what do we do here, Logan? We snap a selfie. Yeah, so we got to do a selfie. I don't know. This is crazy. So we snap a selfie, and we can decorate it. I don't even like those themes. Come on, let's give us something kind of really weird and strange. Like uh, since we are a virtual class, we can. You can doctor it up. And what this is, I know you think, okay, that doesn't really have anything to do with me learning on Play-Doh. It doesn't have anything to do with learning. Yes, it does. Because we're going to be using it to give some feedback. We're just having a little fun with it. Loads it up. Completed. Boom, there it is. Now, what we're going to be using it in our Zoom orientation meeting, as you can see on the screen, is we're going to be commenting on some feedback as we get into this. So today's tech tip of the day. So I'd like you to try it today. I'd like to come back here tomorrow to see if you did a little sample. Just have a little fun with it if you would. So it's one tool called our tech tip of the day we'll use quite often. Hey, Kelsey, I didn't spend a lot of time yesterday with you um, on this platform, but I think you feel pretty confident about it. I want to talk to you about, I don't think we really need to go through the navigation tools today. Today was just checking in with you guys, see if there's any issues I can help you out with. Um, and I want to show you one more thing before we go. Um, our guest speaker for this Friday, as you know, um, was in this video. I still want you to watch this video. Access to illegal hand. Please watch this video before, well, next Friday. Our guest speaker won't be here this Friday. He's uh, actually in this story. You'll know where he's going. He's got a special day. So he'll be joining us next Friday. And I don't talk. I bring him in. You guys get to listen to his message. It's pretty cool. And I told him about 15, 20 minutes. So we're going to have guest speakers from all over the world, country, and even here in our backyard, Mason, Oceana, Lake Counties, too. So um, enough about that. Any questions you may have so far? David, Logan, Kelsey? No. Okay. I really appreciate you checking in. We're just getting our feet wet here this week, getting used to making 8.30 that time to check in. Kelsey, Logan, David, you know, uh, Logan, we got a different way we're checking in, too. But please email me. Hey, I need a one-on-one -on -one with you for a half hour to show me some things. 
uh, don't be afraid. You, you don't even have to show your face. You don't look at this old mug. And I can walk you through some things with screen share. Got it? I'm going to end with this today. I think it's pretty powerful. Uh, I think the September is autism month. Um, and for those who don't know what autism and the care takes autism, uh, I, I think it's a, it's, it's a beautiful piece that will really kind of help us reflect on our differences. And what does it have to do with me working on Play-Doh or Trello cards or learning a lot? Help us build a better sense of community, better sense of understanding, better sense of compassion, empathy. I think this Jubilee video will speak for itself. We'll have a short little piece afterwards, uh, just a conversation, and then we're out for the day here. I want you to take a look at this powerful piece uh, called Fireflies. Tell me what you think. speaking to people face to face. This is really sweet though. Make sure she gets it.
darkness now is catching me by surprise. Your eyes are look in a million times. Okay, I gotta go. A million times. Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed the film Fireflies. In case you want to learn more about how we made the film or why we made the film, check out the behind the scenes video below. So we made this video to raise awareness for autism. And we invite you to make your voices heard on this very As we wrap up here today, Kelsey, David, uh, Logan, he'll come back. I got to see him a little bit. He had to leave. Um, your thoughts? I know that's a broad question, so let me narrow this question down. As you see, the young man had a difficult time conversing with a girl who we used to use the word suffers or has a disability, which is not. Autism is just a unique and different way of communicating. Um, I'm, I'll start first because I'd like the two of you to weigh in on what you took away. My takeaway was that the young man had to find an alternative way to communicate with this young woman. And he had to meet her halfway. He had to, I always say, turn the map around, be more empathetic, understand. David, Kelsey, and the rest of us who are listening on the webinar we are faced with those kind of challenges in which uh, we need to get out of our own skin and look at the world around us and how it's impacting other people. You know, and one of the main reasons I did this, David and Kelsey, to show this today is that virtual learning, the, the key to for this virtual learning experience to work for us is to stay connected, to stay connected. And how hard that character or the young man was trying to stay connected and uh, be more empathetic and understanding her needs and found an alternative way to communicate with her. Pretty powerful, wasn't it? You know, and that was my message. Kelsey, let's weigh in first. What, what kind of takeaways did you take from that? I have no idea. Um... That's okay. You don't have to weigh in if you don't. And do, but does it make sense, Kels? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, did you see that? David, any experiences you may have had that you may have seen something like that or any reflection you have on that video piece? Not that I can think of right now. Yeah, but does that make sense too, David, about how hard he had to work to alter his way of communicating with her too, right? Mm -hmm. And for those who are listening, leaning in uh, on a webinar uh, recorded, um, just think about those opportunities and how we listen and engage in conversation with one another. And I'll leave with this, folks. Um, David, Kelsey, thanks once again for tuning in. And Logan, who uh, uh, the dirty rat snuck out, but he had to get going to a dentist appointment. Stay connected, uh, make this a priority. And if you can't watch the 830 piece, um, just at least go to our, our YouTube channel under our resources and, and just tune in, just stay connected. Reach out to me as I'm gonna reach out to you and you're gonna have a successful experience. Kelsey, thanks for joining us for the first time. Yep. Yeah, appreciate it, David. It was great seeing you yesterday. Yeah. It was awesome. Uh, thank you, I hope that helped out. So, you know, David, reach out. We can kind of continue to build that uh, Trello project too. Hey, Kelsey, um, anything I need or you need for me, uh, I'm going to just touch base you tomorrow, whether a text. Uh, thanks for texting me last night. Um, any questions you have? I, I did address the yearbook piece, and I want to talk to you about that too, okay? No worries, though. Sound good? So we'll talk about that tomorrow then? No, I'm going to talk about that today. So I'm going to have David log off, and then you and I will just chat, okay? Okay, that's fine. Okay, you stay on, Kelsey. David, you have a good one, okay? End the meeting whenever you're ready, okay, David? Thanks. All right, Kelsey, you there? Yep. Hey, yeah, I, you know, you were concerned about robotics and yearbook, correct? Correct. Yeah, that's no worries, girl. Uh, you are, you are, uh, you are a student at G two Academy. So uh, just because you're virtual doesn't mean you're not involved with robotics, and doesn't mean you're not involved with yearbook and such. So, I mean, that's that's an absolute. So we'll just work out how. I'm going to share with you any meetings, updates, and that's what I'll do on this webinar hey, yearbook's going to be a meeting or uh, robotics has their first competition or they're having a meeting for robotics. So does that help clarify your question? Yeah, a little bit. But like the only reason I ask is because I remember like last year, if you didn't like attend to any like the events or the meetings or anything, you couldn't really go. And I went when I went to school last year, robotics is my number one thing, like why I go like why go to school yep and all right i don't know if like the school or whatever showed you my photography but i'm in really good like i'm really good at photography and it's my favorite thing to do 
and I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss out on that. You know, that's a great question. I, actually, I, I wish every single virtual student or student in G2 could, could hear that today. Um, you know, I'm going to answer that because I, got here, I don't have to check with anybody. I'm going to tell you this. We're on uncharted waters, girl, and for whoever else tuning in, this is our first year in a virtual experience. We want that virtual experience as one way of connecting to G2 Academy. Keep in mind, we want you to get in the building as much as can. And if we can't, you can't attend meetings, we'll bring the meeting to you. Does that make sense? If you can't, so you have to look at it differently. So we'll bring the information to you. That's my role. That's my job. So I will play that role for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's, I'm glad you brought it up and I'm going to run it by the staff and share out because uh, some other virtual students may have the same questions because, you know, you're planning, your vision is to come back here after uh, in November uh, we want you to hit the ground running as if you were here uh, physically every day. So virtual just means that you're, you, have a, you want to finish up your job, you want to tie up some loose ends, and we're going to provide you an opportunity to grow and learn, and you're still involved with all the activities that come along with it. Okay? okay. And I'll, we'll, we'll touch base on that more in detail in an email. I'll follow up today, okay? Okay. Hey, by the way, got somebody who wants to say hi to you. Okay. Hi, Kelsey. My name is Maria Van Wyk. I'm the new counselor here at G2S just one day a week. But way earlier this summer, when I was getting- Hold on, now she comes on video. All right. <laughs> when I was getting my new email, I'm pretty sure that it was you I emailed instead of Mr. Martin, right? Along sure. with everybody else, yeah. right? But she was so kind. She just sent me back a little email. Hi, this isn't him. I'm Kelsey, da da da. So I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> And thank you for being so kind to me when I was learning what you were doing. <laughs> she was, wasn't she? She yeah. did that to me too. I'm like, most yeah. people say, hey man, quit bugging me. But, right. uh, You're like a whole second job returning emails that weren't supposed <laughs> to go to you. <laughs> so thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. That's awesome, girl. Good seeing you. We'll sign off and we'll keep in touch, okay? Okay. All right. Good talk. Thanks for tuning in, girl. Hey, okay. see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.